so good morning um, I want to feed my strawberries and then I thought I'll just show that on camera so they've been in their respective baskets sort of in the same soil since last year apart from when I sort of separated some of them I'm looking that way because the strawberries are there I need to feed them because ideally they would have sort of depleted the nutrients in the soil that they are in and so I'm going to be using a tomato feed this is an organic tomato feed and it works for strawberries as well because they are protein plants and um, yeah I'm just going to use this and ideally you want to do this early in the morning so that the sun wouldn't just dry up the, the mixture, the fertilizer mixture. So this is a liquid one and I'm going to dilute it in water um, and then if you do it early in the morning the strawberries will actually have time to absorb it as opposed to the sun just drying it out. So anyways, yeah, so that's it. I'm going to get um, fertilizing. Unfortunately, I forgot to film myself actually pouring it, but I put like the inner size and then put that in there. I'm just going to fill this up with water, but usually there's a there's an instruction on the pack that will tell you what to use. So here it says directions for use, use March to October, mix one and a half inner cups. 22.5 ml of the feed into 5 liters of water and apply to the base of the plant and instead of tell you how many they expect it to feed um, should be sufficient for nine plants so I don't have a 5 liters thing and so I sort of divide the measurement like we calculate and see what it should be So when you mix it, it looks a little brown, like so, and then you just put this at the base of your plants. Can see growing strawberries. You can see strawberries. I'm so excited because I didn't get anything last year. I, I started them late. I got just one, one single strawberry. <laughs> I'm very excited because I only got one last year. And yeah. The type of strawberries I'm growing, they are strawberry El Santa and they are June bearing, so meaning they put out all their fruits at once, like in the middle of summer, as opposed to ever bearing strawberries that produce their fruits like at different points during the season. So they just, you know, take their time and then they give you like different fruits from throughout the season. But these guys will just like load you up with strawberries. So ideally if you want to grow strawberries, I recommend like you have a mixture of the two so that you know at some point you're assured of like high yield and at other points so you have like strawberries to pick throughout the season. But I think I don't mind they're all El Santa and yeah it means that I'll get strawberries all at the same time or around the period and I'm just gonna freeze up like the ones that I can't eat at the same time like in excess. Wow, this one is like very unruly. <laughs> like, gifted me um, this last year so it was from their plant and he had grown and he essentially just cut off like 
the connection and then gave me this one and it appears that this one is now ready to give it to three one two three and i definitely need a large pot a larger pot um yeah so he had them in like a flat bowl and he had told me that he liked flat bowls and i'm so excited i've kept this alive because when we moved there were times that i put it on the floor i would kick it i would step on it i would yeah and it's been out here like the whole winter period they have a funny name <laughs> chicks cubs and hen or hens chicks and cubs like i can't remember but i really treasure it because my neighbor gave me i just really wanted to see how well i could grow it from something that a piece that someone gave me and that's the thing with plants you know their gifts i just keep on giving and see it has put out three babies so i need to get this a new plant like my neighbor gave me stones but like the way i kicked them so many times they lost a lot of the stones but yeah I might get that at some point in the future because it's slim um, but most likely not this year I see these in people's houses and it's nice uh, got some azaleas for people that like them rhododendrons Trellises, but what I actually want is topsoil, <laughs> so I'm gonna go that way. I also want some border edging or some garden edging, but I don't think I want wood. This is mostly wood. I found a bunch of like non wood stuff on the other side. I need two black ones for underneath, Ooh! underneath my hydrangeas and expensive it shouldn't be um, I hope this size works because this one is too large definitely definitely too large I think that might be a bit small um, but yeah I'll try and see and hopefully it works actually I think they have a similar pot to what I have so I'm just gonna try that with that I think this pot is similar to what I have and I'm just testing it like it's a bit small but I like that it's just underneath and discreet so I think I'm gonna buy that size so this is also edging long edge this is plastic and green and ugly as far as I'm concerned this is metal I need something that's flexible and here they have a bunch of flexible stuff um, but I think that's too large like it's just bulky and then yeah this is too wide for me eh, this kind of looks okay but yeah for the front is not the style that I want um, 
I think this will be perfect for the back the back garden um, I'm not just sure what color I want whether brown or gray but I think that suits the back garden where I have the stones and I plan to get something else from Amazon for the front one so I thought I'd just show my face because I've been talking a lot and I'll show you my face but like yeah I think I'm gonna do buy this one although I saw something like it online I think I'll just buy one um, it says 6 meters as you may have realized I think I've posted a video that I'm bad at measuring stuff um, I'm just gonna pick one but I won't open it um, I'll check to see if I find anything better online and then if I don't I'll use this and if it's not enough in terms of like the lens that I need then I'll come back to buy another pack I hope again that it's not expensive I can't really see the price on here um, it doesn't say oh yeah I'm gonna pick that I'm not sure whether to do one bag or two bags uh, I think I'll do one some really small holes at the bottom and what I've just done is to pour water to make sure that it's actually going through and it is although it's going slightly slower and I think because I put like a really small amount of water um, yes yeah, so I think that's fine I'll put my hands cheeks and cups or cheeks cups and hen <laughs> whatever the name of that plant is I'll put that in there. Well, it's, it's very treasured because someone gave it to me, so I I really want to see it thrive and then like in a few years I'll be like, oh, remember that tiny piece of chicks hands and cobs or hen chicks and cobs that you gave me? Um, this is what it looks like now. 